All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Not only do we get busy, but we get smoked out because my boy Greg in Canada starting forest fires and the fucking haze in New York City is, we haven't, I never seen no shit like this before. But it is what it is. We got to continue business. I missed you guys. I hope everything is well. Thank you for all the positive feedback about the other government, the new series that we got going on this platform. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the love. Let's get right back to business. As I like to say, wipe your feet on the rug, throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I just lit up some sour diesel sunshine for the soul. Tell me this isn't the coolest picture ever of a gangster. I love gangster pictures like that black and white grainy shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it. Organized crime figure slain in daylight shooting in Montreal's West Island. Now, this guy, Francesco Del Balso, this guy was, I believe we did a story on this guy, mob story about him uh, shaking down a priest. You know what I'm saying? Crazy shit. A high-profile member of organized crime in Montreal was shot and killed Monday afternoon. Sources confirmed to Radio Canada. Francesco De Balso was shot near the corner of Deacon Street and St. Regis Boulevard in Dorval in Montreal's West Island. Montreal police were on the scene and reported a shooting with a deceased victim. De Balso was arrested as part of the Operation Colisee Sweep of the Montreal Mafia in 2006. Somebody tell me how to say that word correctly in the comments. Colisee? Colisee? Sweep of the Montreal Mafia in 2006, he was convicted of gangsterism and conspiracy to import cocaine. I don't really think that they have laws for the Mafia in Canada, I believe, right? It's gangsterism. He was released in 2016 and then ordered back into prison over concerns for his safety. Parole board documents at the time described him as next on the execution list. The Balso was released again in 2018. He was arrested in September 2022 by police in Laval, Quebec in connection to threats and extortion against the leaders of a local religious community. That's the story we did, the September 22 story. Last March, the Suerte du Quebec searched his home along with the homes of three influential members of the Hells Angels as part of an investigation into drug trafficking. A week before that search, he had been questioned by, by provincial police investigators when trying to leave for Italy. He was released, but his passport was seized bastards they took his passport they let him keep his passport he could have been out of here maybe he would have been alive today the shootings follow two other high profile attacks this year in march leonardo rizzuto who allegedly took over from his father vito rizzuto as montreal's mafia leader was shot in laval quebec the car he was driving was hit with multiple bullets rizzuto survived with injuries on may 16 claudia lacona the daughter-in-law of montreal mafia member moreno gallo was killed in a targeted shooting in the parking lot of a beauty salon in the Cote des... Man, listen, I can't even pronounce this word. Cote des Nieges Notre Dame de Grasse Borough. Somebody, please, in the comments, tell me how to pronounce these words, man. You Canadians, eh? The Balso's murder confirms the mafia war in Montreal is not yet over, said Nicasso, but it's not clear how far the battle will extend. Well, Francesco Del Balso, who was arrested and charged with the alleged shakedown of a priest, that's that's slightly disgracia. But some of these priests, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not going to get into it. We will definitely be on top of this. Salute to all the people that listen to Mob Stories that left comments in the comment section of the old videos of uh, Francesco. I appreciate it. So here it is. Here's the Mob Story. I miss you guys. I hope everything's well. We will be back soon with more current Mob Stories when there is a story to talk about. Like I said, Sour Diesel for the soul. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know what city you're smoking in. We will talk soon. Salute.